Hey guys, it has been such a long time since I filmed a video. I know, I know. I don't really have any good excuses. So let's just say I'm really happy to be making videos. I'm gonna try to keep making them fuzz in my face. Rude. I really miss making videos. I'm very happy to finally be sitting down and filming one again. So we're just gonna get started. If you hear a noise in the background, my brother is power washing the backyard. So that's what that is. I apologize. Quick side note, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm going to put a thing right here and hopefully you'll click on it so that you'll know whenever I make new videos, which will hopefully be more frequently than it has been. Okay, so I thought I would kick things back off with a Sephora haul. I ordered this stuff at the VIB sale. Like that was a long time ago and it's still been sitting in this box. Oh my goodness. I haven't barely used this stuff because I'm like, I gotta film a haul and then I just never filmed one. And then you know how that goes. Maybe you don't, but here we go. The first thing I got is actually a sunscreen for my face. You might know that I've had a very difficult time finding a sunscreen on my face that does not break me out. My skin breaks out for everything, especially when it comes to sunscreen. So I was researching online, looking at all these different sunscreens, trying to find one that would be good for my face and not make me break out. And I settled on this one. This is the Kula Classic Sunscreen. It's unscented and it's specifically for your face. This one is SPF 30. I actually have been using this product, but I keep, <laughs> I use it and then I put it back in the box every time because I'm like, I gotta fill my haul. This says unscented and I'm not kidding, it is unscented. Like usually when things say unscented, I'm still a little bit like, but is it really unscented? Like it's gotta have a hint of something. This does not. I smell nothing. I have used this a bunch of times so far and I'm really liking it. It hasn't broken me out. It doesn't make my skin look greasy or anything. Like I can comfortably put makeup on top of it if I wanted to. And so far it's worked. I haven't really gotten sunburn on my face, which is good. I would give this a plus plus. Okay, the next thing I got is the Benefit Roller Lash. As you can see, I have not opened this yet. I got a sample of this a while ago. I put it in favorites videos. I love this mascara. I never really buy full size higher end mascaras. I just always get mine from the drugstore, but I was like, you know what? I'm getting percentage off. I really, really, really like this mascara. I splurged, got the full size. So I can't wait to finish the mascaras that I have. I have like 800 mascaras going on right now. So I gotta get through those and then I'll tackle this one, but I already know I love it. This next thing I'm very excited about, I've gone back and forth with wanting this and not wanting it for months. This is the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. I got mine in the Streak shade. Like I said, I've been going back and forth since this released of like, do I want it? Do I need it? Should I get it? And finally, I just, I did it. I got it. Just look at this packaging. It's just so... I just, I love it. It's so nice. And then on the back, like I said, I got the streak shade. It has the color of the blush in here that you'll see. So if you're not familiar with these, it has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. And this is just the perfect little thing for travel. I don't even travel a lot, but I actually really wanted this because lately I've been not doing my makeup for work in the morning before I leave. I've been packing a little makeup bag, driving to work. I commute like an hour and a half to work. So I drive to work and then I do my makeup at work. And so this is just perfect. I don't have to bring three separate products. They're all right here. I really like it. The bronzer looks shimmery. If you look like right now, it looks kind of shimmery, but it's really not. It's actually matte. Yeah, it's like completely matte. The highlight is not like a wha-bam highlight. It's just a very soft, subtle kind of glow, which I actually really like, especially on tan skin. I feel like it's gonna look really nice. And then this blush color, coral blushes, you know, you can't go wrong with that. So I've been really, really liking this so far, and I am very happy that I finally got it. I also got one of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potions. I've had this years ago. Like, this was probably my first eyeshadow primer that I've used was one of these. And, um... I ran out of it, obviously, years ago. I just loved this one when I had it. I remember that it worked really, really well at keeping my eyeshadow on all day, not having it crease or anything. This one, I think, is a little different because, yeah, when I originally had it, it was like a squeezy tube. Now it's got the doe foot applicator, which I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I haven't started using this one yet. I'm finishing up another primer that I have right now, but I'm so excited to have this back in my life. I can't wait to use it again, and I hope I like it as much as I used to. Next, I got five of the Formula X nail polishes, and the reason I got five is because for some reason, I don't know what it was. I always like to browse the clearance or sale section, whatever it's called, on the Sephora website when I look online, because sometimes you find some really good things, 
and there was like this deal where you could pick five Formula X nail polishes, full size, for $10. I'm still confused about how that exactly worked out. I don't know. They gave you like a list of colors to choose from, so it wasn't the whole collection because obviously Formula X, if you know, has like a lot of shades. But anyways, they gave you a list of colors to choose from. I picked five and it was only $10. So I tried to pick colors that I don't really have in my nail polish collection right now. So the first one I got is called Kelvin. It's this bright orange color. I thought that was really, really cool. And then I also got this electric kind of shimmery blue called Kapow. Another really awesome one. Then this one's probably my favorite. I feel like it's so unique and I don't have anything like this. This is called Dusk and it's like a reddish bronzish metallic looking shade. I'm really excited to use this one. I haven't used any of these yet. And then I got this one which is called TNT and I think it's more of like a top coat. I love these ones. I feel like when you put like a black polish and then just this kind of thing on top it looks really really cool. And then the last one I got is called Blast Off. I actually had one of these before and it just dried out because I've had it for so long. It's one of those like crackle top coats, which again, looks like you did something really cool on your nails when you just put a top coat over another color. I also somehow got a sample of the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. And this is what I've been bringing back and forth with me in my makeup bag for work. And I really, really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging. I don't know if the full size is like this too, but... You don't like twist off the cap, you kind of just pull it and it gets a little bit messy, like it kind of gets clumped up and then when you close it, you just push it down and sometimes mascara gets like in this little crack, I don't know. So it's a little bit messy, but I'm willing to deal with it. I actually really do like this, I feel like it's very black and it gets my lashes really defined and thick with just like one or two coats, so I like that. I don't know if I'll buy the full size, but I'm enjoying this one for now. Lastly, what would a Sephora haul be without lip products? What would any haul be without lip products? That's the real question. So I got a few lip products. This one from Urban Decay was I think also on the sale site and I think it was also $10. This is the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color and I didn't really know what to expect when I ordered this but it's actually really cool. It is like a pencil like this, first of all, the packaging, amazing. I love this. I did not think this was going to be so shimmery like it's very metallic but I guess that's good because I think metallic lips are like in right now I don't know this is in the shade Big Bang and it is this like very sparkly metallic shimmery hot pink color with like a little bit of purple I did not think it was gonna be that shimmery you can feel the the sparkle on your lips which I'm not the biggest fan of but it does look really cool and it says high gloss because I think the shimmer or the sparkle whatever it like reflects the light really nicely and it does make your lips look really glossy even though this isn't a gloss, it's a crayon. So really interesting, I'm excited to start playing around with this and I think it's going to be really fun for the summer. Then I got another one of these Sephora cream lip stains. I have a bunch of these already and I love them. They are some of my favorite lip products ever. And this is in the shade 03. I hate that they don't put the actual name. I think it's called strawberry kissed or something something with strawberry it is just this gorgeous coral strawberry red kind of color i think it's going to be so pretty in the summer i love these because you put them on they're comfortable you don't have to worry about them moving around getting on your teeth anything like that they last for hours and i've been eyeing this color for quite some time now so i'm really excited to have it and then lastly i don't know if you would know this but i have been really into this brand called nude sticks lately i got one of their double-ended, I think I did put it in a favorites video actually once, got one of their double-ended lip and cheek pencils and I am still obsessed with it to this day. So I saw this little thing, I don't know what you would call it. It just comes with like three minis in this little case, which first of all, the case is so nice. It's like this tin little thing, which is really cute. And then on the inside, there's three mini lip pencils, which really are not mini at all. Like, I think these are going to last you for a very long time. And then it comes with a sharpener. So it comes with three colors in here. There's a matte, a gel, and a cream. And the shades are Belle, Pulse, and Mystic. They're all just kind of different variations of a beautiful, perfect nude shade. There's like a lighter one, a more mauve color, and then a more kind of brownish undertone shade. Belle is the lightest one. It's a matte. And then Pulse is a gel. And then Mystic is a cream. I love the formula on all three of these. I love how just easy and convenient they are to just throw in your bag, 
throw on your lips and they're really comfortable to wear. You can put them on your cheeks also as blush. I've never used them that way before, but as lip products, I'm loving these. All right, and that is everything I picked up from Sephora. I am so happy to be back making videos. Hopefully I'm gonna be more diligent about making more videos because I really do miss it and love it. I really hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you decide to get any of the products that I showed. And with that, I guess that's all I have to say. So as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you soon. Bye.